volunteer with the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute. I left Panama City on May 17, 2013, on a two-week scientific expedition to the Comarca Madugandi in eastern Panama. The objective of the trip is to collect scientific data on the variability of carbon storage and tree species diversity in tropical forests, and also, perhaps more importantly, to train the indigenous kuna and give them the technical expertise to measure forest carbon in their own territory. The purpose of this is to help them manage their forest carbon as a valued resource for its role in regulating global climate. To, we're on to day five of the expedition. Uh, we're actually on the third day of actually measuring trees and so far it's going pretty good. Uh, we've encountered some difficult terrains uh, as we're walking along. We come to these quebradas which are difficult to cross and uh, very difficult to measure trees in but we're actually doing it. So it's on the third day of measuring. We've we've measured six parcels. Uh, this is actually the seventh we're just finishing, and then we've got 18 more he one hectare parcels to measure. And most of those are deeper into the jungle. So it means more work to get there, and uh, more work to get back to our camp at the end of the day. But the good news is that the trees are getting bigger, and the jungle is getting full of wildlife, full of crazy insects and plants and uh, I'm really enjoying this as a working environment. Uh, we've had some intense rains uh, and the mosquitoes are coming out but so far it's not too bad.
Well, we're uh, we're encountering our fair share of uh, challenges in here, but perhaps the worst yet is this Piña de Monte. It's very spiky, razor sharp plant that is absolutely everywhere, and we have no choice but to hack through it with machetes and then climb through, uh, getting cut along the way. I'll show you what it's like. Here's the trail. Catches your clothes, you're you're stuck. Day nine of the expedition, and uh, we're all a little bit tired. We've been working for for seven days straight, usually about 11 hours a day. Some tough conditions. It's either really hot or it's pouring rain, <laughs> and we're having some tough terrain. Uh, probably the worst is the Agua de Mon or the Piña de Monte. Uh, but the only places where we don't find that Pino de Monte is in these really steep sites. Oh, so today is, today is the big day of the expedition when we finished all the, all the easy to access parcels. Now we're heading north into the mountains to the sites that have the highest carbon content. It's only four kilometers from camp, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, except I will admit that this terrain is very difficult, so we'll see. Well, we've finally arrived to the hundred tons of carbon parcels. It was a fair bit of a hike to get here, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. It was actually kind of nice. We had some some hunting along the way. <laughs> hunting, hunting spider monkeys. They say they're very tasty. <laughs> and also uh, stop to harvest some non-timber forest products like the uh, buhuko that they use to uh, use to build their houses. So that was all pretty good and 
We're just checking out this first parcel. It looks perhaps too steep to measure, so we're gonna go check out the next ones. measuring we hit every single parcel as we had hoped um, the last two were extremely steep and quite difficult we're very pressed on time so we went fast and I'm super glad that uh, we all made it out of there with no injuries and now we're hiking out on a different route that our guides tell us will bring us uh, right back without any more hill climbs, which is good because we are absolutely exhausted. Ten days in a row working, hiking uh, 15 to 20 kilometers a day, climbing up these trees to measure them. Uh, it's been nuts. It's been awesome, but it's been really exhausting. Just getting to know the forest and the insects and the diversity in the landscape of the Madhu Gandhi, but also getting to know the Kuna people and sharing some cultural experiences with them. Uh, I've been traveling for uh, I've been traveling for nine months now. I've been exploring forests all across North America. I've been traveling on bicycle from Canada to Panama to explore forests, and this is by far the most fascinating experience I've had the whole trip. So, yeah, I'm very happy that I'm working for the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute, and uh, I'm very fortunate to have this opportunity. 